Hello, it's Emily from It's a Wonderful Wig. I'm going to review for you today Tress Allure's Charlotte in three different colors. But first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel or if you're new here, please do so. Please subscribe instead of just watching the video. I'm trying to grow the channel. The more subscribers I have, the more it uh, shows up in search results, the more people can find my reviews, my wig chats, my wig support. My goal here is to help women normalize wig wearing for fun, for fashion, for hair freedom, and to love their alternative hair, whether they do it for fun, whether they do it for cosmetic purposes, and to help it be normal and uh, not be such a sort of a stigma in society. So please help me spread the word. Really appreciate that. Um, as well. So I want to talk about Charlotte. Now I'm wearing the first one already. This is Charlotte and this is Mimosa HL. So first let's talk a little bit about Charlotte um, and Tress Allure. Tress Allure, um, as far as the sizing, tends to be average to small. Fortunately for Charlotte, I say it is more on the average because I have a little bit of a larger head about 23 inches and I can wear a lot of averages not always but um, I can definitely wear Raquel Welch and Gabor especially the the basic caps such as this one that have the um, thin sort of wefts and that can have a stretch and sort of memory shape to it and I'd say this Tressalore Charlotte fits a little bit bigger or better than say the review I did on the other red curly red Tressalore wigs which was modern curl and tapered curl and I can link that below those are a little a little smaller but these fit actually perfect with all my bio hair underneath so I love that I'm so grateful about that um, sometimes Tressalore fits on par to maybe a more or a Noriko which tends to run a little smaller but I haven't found a consistency in their sizing in all of their averages, or all of their wigs say average. So for example, I have California Beach Waves in a dark brown and a, and a rooted blonde, and they fit perfect as well, versus the short curly red. Um, <clears throat> Trust the lower wigs feel tight. So again, so Charlotte is a basic cap construction. I'll show you the inside of the cap when, when I take this off. And so it doesn't have a lace front or anything like that. It has a thick, front so you have the little bit of hair with charlotte to kind of cover that it doesn't have any part mono part or anything however the rooting is really nice on this one and it looks natural enough i don't think anybody's going to think it's a wig it has that what they call cool comfort where it's really light and open wefted so in the summer your head will stay nice and cool i love it though it's got these thick stacked layers and you know, I really think the name Charlotte is perfectly suiting for this wig. I think Charlotte, I think a cute little Southern gal, you know, from Georgia or South Carolina where I lived for years in South Carolina. My son was born there and I think it's the perfect name. And so, and I have a long face, you know, just over nine inches and it still has a good length on me. So if you have a shorter face, it's gonna come a little longer for sure. But it's soft, it's silky. I've done nothing to this, no product. Um, I don't believe it's heat friendly. I've seen nothing that it can accept heat at all, but you don't really need it. I've just used my fingers. Here you can see I put a little clip in it. We'll look at the next two without the clip and um, we'll show you what it looks like with a headband. I guess I can just take this off to show you, right? So it's nice and thick and layered. So this Mimosa HL, uh, this color, just wanted to tell you what it said here. The Mimosa HL is um, a combination color. It has light red brown with dark brown roots and pale blonde highlights. So you can see the dark brown roots, you can see the blonde kind of platinum highlights, and you can see a little bit of the red gold and that's kind of a reddish strawberry. But I think it's a really nice color, especially if you're like me and you have naturally dark roots or dark hair. Um, so I really like that. So the other two colors I have are Sunset Glow and the English Tea Garden or Tea Garden, something like that. I'm going to show you. We're going to unbox them. So it's going to be an unboxing. I have not opened them yet. I just got my other two in the mail because <clears throat> I love this one so much as sort of a basic throw on and go wig that I wanted to get it in a few different colors. Um, and so cap design is wefted basic, cap size average, hair fiber synthetic, texture wavy curly, Measurement, uh, the nape is three inches, crown 6.5, and the fringe is about 6.5 as well. 
Um, and so it has that what they call effortless synthetic fiber and cool comfort cap. Let me show you the back here. Um, cool comfort cap. And the effortless fiber means it just really stays where you put it, you know. It feels so great. So let's, um, well, I'm not going to take it off yet. Let's open the next one. Let's open the first one. You want to look at the red or the brown. Let's look at the English tea, or it's just English tea. This is what we're going to open, and this is actually a box opening because I have not opened this yet. So we have a little cap. We have a nice instruction book, like how to wash and take care of your wig. All the wigs come clipped in nicely. Um, I love, <laughs> even when I return the wigs, I tend to keep the bobby pins, but these bobby pins are really great if you have bio hair because they're big, the big bobby pins, not like the smaller black ones you can get in the store. Uh, if you have a good amount of bio hair, the big thick ones work well. If you don't, you probably want to use the small ones because they can be a little bulky under a wig. Come on, come on. All right. Yay. So first of all, let me give it a good, let's give it a good shake out. Still has the tag on. It always says attention. Shake your new style first to shake it out. I guess, yeah, they want you to give it its natural kind of body and wave. So showing you the inside of the cap now, it has this, it's a little, it's not scratchy, but it's not like the soft velvet. It's just kind of an average fiber. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like it's, it doesn't rough, it's not rough enough to, it doesn't bother me or anything. Um, I'm gonna adjust, by the way, these Velcro straps because I do have to put them on the ends. So you can see this open. See how you can even see through it? That's what it's. they mean by the cool comfort cap. So this color, the English tea, is described as dark brown with bright red and strawberry highlights. Don't see a lot of that, I guess maybe. I'm not seeing that, but let's just put it on. Pop this right on off. See how much hair I have under there? Here's the back of Charlotte. So it's gonna be interesting to see which one I like the best color-wise. Let's get on this one. So this is obviously gonna be more of a brunette shade. Tag be gone. Does have nice ear tabs. They do only pull right to my hairline. Let's get this up. So the first time you wear it, if you have a larger head, it's gonna feel a little snug. I only worn the, the other Charlotte once prior to today, and it's definitely looser than the first time because it remembers the shape of my head. So when you first get it, it's gonna look a little unruly. You do wanna, oh, I can see the highlights now. You do want to play with your Charlotte the first time you get it. I use the, my John Renault comb. It's a little, might need a little water on this one. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, it's got that natural, it just kind of falls the same way as the other one does. Use your fingers, bring it down here. Oh, I love this dark stacked look. This one looks a little more stacked in the back than my other one. Might need a little water just up here to kind of get that right where you want it. Or you can flatten it down with your, make some heat on your hand. Flatten it, push, 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 push. Ideally a little bit longer usually. Oh, I see those sort of strawberry gold highlights. Yeah, so this is the English tea. So this definitely looks closer to my natural hair color, of course. It is a very pretty color. Um, let's see what it looks like with a headband. I have a thin headband here. Generally these short stacked kind of bob styles look great with headbands. Look almost a little retro. This is a thin headband. This one is a little bit more, it's gonna need a little water spray. I don't have my water here just to get that down. I also have a thicker one. So this is normal, just first time right out of the box hair. You're gonna wanna get that where you want it. Once you get it in place, it'll stay. Let's get this bigger headband on. A little more vintage. That's cute, isn't it? Let's look at the back here. 
back. So what do you think? The English tea versus the Mimosa HL. So see, it's a little longer and feathered right here and straighter and then more stacked layer toward the back. It's a really nice shape. I mean, it's not in my face. If I'm cooking, if I'm doing my painting, if I'm, you know, brushing the cats or changing the litter box, this hair is not gonna get in my face. So you could also put this back in the clip. Uh, like right up yonder here, like I had the other one. So let's look at, just to compare, Sunset Glow. Now I had the first Tress Allure wig I purchased was Mia in Sunset Glow. I got it off HSN and you know, it felt, it was felt too small to me. And I, at the time I had not discovered wig grips. I had a cap on and it kept pulling the cap up with my hair underneath. So I, I associated that with it doesn't fit. I loved the color. It's a little bit longer than Charlotte. So I sent it back and it wasn't until a month or two later, I tried another Tress Allure. I tried the tapered curl and I loved it so much even though it felt a little tight, but by then I had discovered wig grips and it was a whole other story. And then I learned how to stretch out a wig and I learned more about wig grips and sizing and how caps don't work if you have a lot of hair underneath. So it really was, um, I'm probably gonna try Mia again, but we're gonna look at this Sunset Glow next. Sunset Glow, they have described as dark red and blonde blend. Simple. And my Mia that I had in Sunset Glow, I took photos of myself in different lighting, indoor, in the bathroom light, and it looked completely orange, you know, hot, hot, sunsetty in under the lighting and kind of lighter like a blonde almost like a dishwater blonde it looked like at night in my bedroom when I wasn't right under the lighting which was kind of strange so we're giving it another good shake let's take off this one English tea I think this one is very I, I feel like this English tea one is kind of trendy and fashionable and classy it's kind of classy and elegant let's take a look how sunset glow is going to be for us feels about the same a little tight the first time you kind of want to get it pushed on there oh yeah definitely oh yeah see now I'm under the lights you see what I mean about the fiery actual sunset looking glow kind of orangey color wow oh, I, I do love this color like I loved it when I first saw it on Mia too let me see is my hairline it's a good spot so the first time again you get this wig you're gonna have to work it a little with your fingers a spray bottle just with water in it like you can spray these flyaways here then they'll it'll stay or get the flyaways down just use your fingers like a comb always use your fingers to fan things upward give it its body oh it's so cute I love it isn't that pretty I mean you can see I mean there's not much difference in any of the the shapes they're all consistently the same adorable shape Super cute, stacking, flattering, feminine, flirty, thick. It's not gonna show anything through the back. I presume, I can't see the back, but I'm gonna assume it's thick enough. We can put this, like I had the little blonde one, and a barrette. But isn't that adorable? You can't really see my Ethiopian opal earrings. Very well, you probably want to wear longer earrings with this wig, but look how cute that is. I kind of feel kind of retro. I love retro looks. I love them, love them. We can try this little thin headband again. See, this one isn't doing as big a piece up here as that as the brown one did. That just means it needs a little hot heat from your hands or some water or both. There we go. You as a bug's ear. See how it fans and flips kind of right there? Now if that bugs you, you can put that under your headband. Let's try the thicker headband. The thicker headband here. You can of course put in, oh that's so cute. What do you guys think? Which color do you like? So this was the Sunset Glow. The 
Mimosa HL, which is more of a blonde rooted brown. And the English Tea Highlight. Which color do you like best on me versus which color would you like best on you? Kind of a little sunlight pounding in here behind us, but oh, I love this one. Such a keeper. I'm gonna have to go and try that Mia again. Okay, I'm telling you, you cannot go wrong with Charlotte. There's another video I had seen a long time ago. I don't know how long ago it was. It was a while back of this Charlotte wig in like five or six different colors. And that's what actually made me want to buy it. And I love it. And I can see why it's such a great wig. It It's really cute. I don't feel like I'm wearing, you don't feel like, like it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a wig. So this is probably gonna be a favorite. I might actually get it in some more colors, you guys. And then I'll do another review of a couple more colors eventually and link it below. But check out my review on Trust Allure red shades. They're darker red shades. I think I have bright red rooted, medium auburn or something and some kind of a glazed fire, I don't know, some other red um, and two different short curly, short, short curly styles that are really cute. I think this is my favorite. What do you think? Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. You're not gonna go wrong with Charlotte. It's really affordable. It's the low hundred dollar range. And for a basic cap, the thick curl wave, silky, shiny, like kind of comfort, it's, it's great. It's a lot of good hair for your money. Better than I would say a hairdo brand wig would be for the same price range. All right, everybody, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Please like the video.